lowest of the low with the high of the low. Okay? Yes. That is our spiritual evolution. Yeah. I'm not talking about individually, I'm talking about the planet, human race as a whole, okay? What makes a planet more evolved? Spiritually highly elevated and morally higher, yes? Okay? Spiritual awareness and practice, that's what I would sum up. That's what makes the planet higher, okay? Yes, Master. Right. Master, you mentioned once that you could feel the love of the earth when you walk barefoot. Yes. Would you say, Master, that the earth can heal us? Yes, yes. Yes. Can, can. Mm. Do other planets have this same healing effects on its inhabitants? Yes, 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 yes. It depends, yeah? Some earth also have higher level of development than the other earth. Planet. The beings as the earth planet, some are higher, some are lower. And the living beings on these or that planet, some are higher developed spiritually and some are less, you know, developed spiritually. So it also gets healing power accordingly. You see, healing power from the earth also according to the earth being, yeah, uh, spiritual power also depends on our spiritual power as well, to get healed or not get healed, yes? But uh, accordingly, the earth gives to all, the earth gives to all. It's just we, we take and we digest and we manifest differently this power, okay? So sometimes people walk barefoot to get the benefit from the earth, the, the earth uh, energy, yes? Some people go to take a mud bath, yes, and get better. Some people even take clay as a preventive medicine to heal themselves or to uh, maintain the physical body, okay? Yes, Master. Thank you very much. You are welcome. Hi, Master. Um, why are there highly developed spiritual beings living in physical planets? Uh, it's for your sake. Oh, I see. To bless you. Mm, to help you to develop like they are, okay? Okay, my sister. It's sacrifice. But they don't think sacrifice, they, they do it for love, okay? Okay. All right, for example, your best friend, sick in the hospital, you, healthy, beautiful, pinky, uh, lovely, attractive girl, why do you go sit there all night with the sick? Huh? He looks terrible with all the pipes on his nose and all the tubes on his mouth and his mouth and all the bandage all over him and all machine attached to him. He doesn't look like a, even a human being. Why you go there, sit all day, all night for him? You even eat there. You even wipe his uh, sloppish uh, mouth water coming out and you, you even dry his uh, sweat. Huh? And wait every time he moves. Why is that? For love. Yes, Master. Would you like to sit in the hospital all day all night doing that? No, of course not, huh? You sit there because of your best friend who is sick, who needs you, who loves to see you whenever he opens his eyes. He feels better, comforted, okay? You do it for him, no? Okay, yes, Master. Same. The highly developed spiritual beings, they come here, they don't like them, they so cause suffering for them, mentally, physically, spiritually also, but they came. They know all that before, but they came because of you, okay? Okay, yes, my have to thank them profoundly, sincerely, humbly, all of them. Without all of them, we're so dead, okay? We're so dead, spiritually, mentally, yeah, all kind, all the bodies dead, <laughs> not just physical body. Okay. Thank you, Master. And the next question is, why don't they just stay in heaven? Why did they have to take a physical form on a physical planet? Just the same, honey. I told you, love, hmm? compassion, compassion for you, <laughs> for you, for you alone. <laughs> For all of you alone, <laughs> for each one alone. <laughs> okay. Would you rather they stay in heaven? <laughs> ah, 
uh, would you rather they didn't take physical form? You, you would rather them be here, right? Okay, that's why yes, they're yes, here. Yes. Hmm? So we pray for them to come down to help us. Many people do it. Uh, is there any difference between different galaxies in terms of spiritual levels? Yes, 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 of course. Of course. Just like different nations on our planet have different uh, developments. Huh? Okay? Yes, Master. Okay. Thank you, Master. And okay. Are there visible celestial objects that are higher than the fifth level? No, no. Even lower than fifth level, fourth level, third level, you won't see it. <laughs> Not to talk about invisible <laughs> celestial objects above the fifth level. No, we couldn't even dream about it. Okay? Okay, Master. Thank you, Master. All right. If you are at the fifth level planet, if you are already there, live there. And sometimes maybe the sixth or seventh level can visit you, huh? But not <laughs> here, not even invisibly. <laughs> I see. Okay. Thank you, Master, so much. Hello, Master. Hi. Hello. Master has mentioned that never before has there been a widespread spiritual practice like now. For example, uh -huh. with Supreme Master TV transmitting Master's lectures, uh -huh. what about other planets, Master? Have they been blessed with widespread spiritual teachings? Some, some, some. I was talking only about Earth, okay? <laughs> I was talking about this physical planet has never been blessed with such a, a widespread spiritual uh, knowledge, yes? Yes. Uh, in the history of humankind, on this planet. But some other planets have similar situation when they are blessed enough or when they are in urgency <laughs> enough. We appreciate your gracious presence for today's episode of Between Master and Disciples. Join us again next Monday for Part 8 of the video conference with Supreme Master Ching Hai entitled, Revelations on the Magnanimous Sun and the Universe. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television.